want you to leave right now. Luke. Hey, hey, I, I need some help here. Oh, I love you. All this time, you have totally been playing me. I haven't been playing you. Stop lying to me, Sarah. I don't lie. I have never lied to you. For the final time, I don't know how Josh's ID got here, all You're right? right? I can't believe anything you say oh, anymore. Well, think what you want to think. Just go. OK, you constantly lead me on and then freeze me out, all the while doing whatever with Josh. I wasn't doing anything with Josh, and I haven't been leading you on. I just haven't joined the witch hunt. And I have made it very clear on more than one occasion that you and I are never going to be more than friends. Not even that. Crap. You always try and push me away, but you just can't do it. Look, I'm going to call the police if you don't leave right now. No, you won't. Let's just stop playing games, Sarah. Don't you dare. Back off. Back off! Oi, oi, what's going on? <laughs> the boyfriend's back. I lost my ID somewhere. I dropped some photocopies off before. I thought maybe I dropped well, it. Well, you... you thought right. Thanks. Is everything OK? Yep. Zach was just leaving. Bye. Is one of you going to tell me? Um, Josh, don't you have to get to work? Yeah. Bye. He turned on me. Zach? Yeah, he just... changed. Did he hurt you? No. I think he did it. I think he assaulted Roy Mutter. Should I call the police? Yep. Sweetheart. I feel sick. Your sister needs us. Mate. It's too soon. He wasn't supposed to go. Not yet. Not for months. I know, sweetheart, I know. We weren't ready. So he didn't hurt or threaten you, but you feel he was about to? When I came in, this was on the ground where he'd thrown it. What did you fear was going to happen next? I think he would have assaulted me. You mean like a punch or sexually? I think maybe both. You said he came here to confront you. Yeah, I didn't realise it at first, but he found one of my male colleagues' ID badges in them, in some papers, and then he basically accused me of having an affair with him. Can I see the ID, please? Oh, no, sorry. Josh came and got it. Josh Gallagher. Are you in a relationship with him? No, not at all. I mean, we're, we're friends, but that's it. Are you currently in a relationship with Zach? No. But Zach thought you were? I honestly don't know what Zach thinks. How would you describe things between you? Uh, he's my ex. We've become more friendly lately. I felt sorry for him because I thought he was being victimised by TK and Rumada. And now you don't think that? No. Did he say anything specific to that effect? Did he say or imply that he was the man who assaulted her? No. I just didn't think that he was capable. I mean, I lived with him. I, I think I even loved him. But now... Now? Now I think he's capable of violence. Or worse. What can you do about him? Well, based on what Sarah's just told me, I'll go and have a word with him. That's it? I suggest you apply for a protection order against him. I can help you with that. I'll be telling him to cool his jets and keep his distance. I suggest you also do what you can to steer clear. Tricky. She works with the guy. Sweetheart, 
Why don't you come home with us? Oh, no, I'll be all right. I mean, I've got to organise everything. The music, the photographs, what he's going to wear. Love, there's no rush. Oh, there is. I mean, there's so much to do. I, I have to call his family. I can do that, love. I'll call the funeral directors. And when we have a date for the funeral, can you do the catering? I'll make a few calls. Just leave it with me. Then I'll help with whatever. Good man. I really like the dude, you know. He was kind and honest. Yeah. I oh, know. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jess, it's all right. <laughs> he wanted me to read this and I never got around to it. He was so sweet to me. Yeah, you and Luke connected on all that spiritual stuff. He was one of the good guys. And just so perfect for you. Mm. He is. He's special. And he loves you too. He loves all of us. I'll make us a cup of tea, eh? Oh, about time I'm starving. Come on. You were with Luke? Yeah. It's so awful. Yes. Oh, I, I need Mrs. Costa's notes and x-rays. Could you grab them for me? I'm actually on my break. It'll only take a minute. I was hoping through the rounds to organise flowers for Bella. I'm sure Bella's need for flowers is less than my patient's need for notes and x-rays. I'll grab them on the way back. Problem? Nursing priorities? Flowers for a dead man versus a live waiting patient and doctor. <sighs> I talked to the director of nursing. You never know, she might actually like to take control of her nurses. I'll do that, but uh, good luck. They're all tight as. Mr. Smith. What now? Sarah Potts has laid a formal complaint with us regarding your behaviour last night. <laughs> You're joking. You frightened her. She felt threatened and she remains concerned about your behaviour towards her. We had a lover's tiff, that's all. I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. She gave me a harder time than I gave her. She threatened you? Made you fear for your safety? Well, of course not. So what happened? I caught her in a lie and confronted her. You were angry? Yeah, well, wouldn't you be? But I didn't threaten her. In no way did I threaten her. That's crazy. Yet here I am serving a protection order against you. <sighs> she does this. She's a drama queen and she wants to lash out. This is her just using you to do her job. I think you underestimate the seriousness of the situation. OK. The situation, as you call it, is her and me on our way to reconciling. When we were together, I made a mistake playing around and now she's playing around to punish me. That's all. Look, whatever the rights and wrongs of what occurred last night, you need to know we will take action against you if it happens again. Do you understand that? Yes. You need to stay well away from Sarah Potts, her home, and all those places she's likely to be found. <laughs> I live here, and I work at the hospital. I can't avoid her completely. Well, do your best. And for what it's worth, she tells me she isn't having a fling and doesn't know why you think she is. Thanks. OK, I've got 43. 52. Can you put 10 in for me? Oh, you broke already. One of those weeks. Ah, it's the same every week. Right, 100 plus bucks should get us a decent bunch of flowers. Let the florist know what it's for and get a few bunches. I'll give Wendy a call and let her know they're coming so she can deal with it at her end. Thanks, Nicole. I wish we could do more. I guess at least he got to go to his own way. Nicole, a word? How can I help? For one, you could suggest the nurses mourn after their shifts. When I need help, I don't want to come second to token gestures of grief. Brooke, Luke died. We just lost a friend and a well-loved colleague. It is not a tribute to him to let patient care suffer. Tell your friends, please. Guys, did something happen with Brooke? Well, she went on rounds without all her notes, and then she expected Kylie to use her break, fetching the ones she forgot. She was pretty snippy about it, too. Well, that's Brooke, but you still could have helped out. Well, I did. I just didn't snap to her and salute with it. OK, but we're all going through some stuff. Brooke has history with Luke, and although she comes across as a heartless cow, she's probably suffering, too. So just go the extra mile, OK? Yes, boss. Aye, aye, Captain.
Hey. Hi. Um, can I talk with you guys? Yeah, sure, come in. Um, a cup of tea? Uh, no, thank you. Um, I'm actually here to apologise. For what? I'm so sorry. What's happened? You were right about Zach. I didn't want to believe it. What did he do to you? He's not who I thought he was. Did he hurt you? No, he wanted to. But fortunately, Josh turned up and then Brooke. When you needed my support, I rejected you. I didn't think he could do those things. I didn't, I didn't want to believe that I could have loved a man like that. It's okay. Come on. Can I ask what actually happened? Um, he found Josh's ID card and some papers that Josh had left me and he basically accused me of having an affair and then he just ranted. Did he say anything about attacking my mother or drugging me? No. But he got really bitter and nasty. I was really scared. He didn't say anything, but I think he did it. I think he attacked you and drugged TK and all the rest. He's been manipulating all of us and I feel like such an idiot. You are one seriously messed up scumbag. What's up, chum? You look a bit out of sorts. You planted that idea, didn't you? You got me thinking something's going on between you and Sarah. But you weren't quite believing me. So you planted that idea. And boy, did I ever get you... <laughs> you want me to hit you, don't you? Well, I did. I thought I'd cop it, but instead you went for Sarah. I kind of thought you would. You followed me to her place? Just to make sure it didn't get out of hand. Which it did. But Sarah realises you're a psycho now. I think it's about time I called security. I could crush you in a heartbeat. But you'll keep. I'll just put this IV in for you. I've finished the nursing assessment for the three new admissions, so I can do that for you if you like. You don't have a break coming up? Nope, I'm good to go. Rooms 18 and 19. Let me know if I can do anything else. I'll have you sorted in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Need a hat? Oh, thank you, but no. It's kindly still giving you a hard time. Actually, no. I had a word to Nicole and she sorted her. Totally. Really? Her softly, softly approach seems to work. Zach was convinced I was having an affair with Josh. And do you know why he might have thought that? Well, I've been talking to Josh a fair bit about him working overseas, and Zach always seemed to be around when he was and got the wrong idea. Right. And then when he found Josh's ID in those papers, that was the final proof, apparently. OK, um... Josh had decided that you were Zach's point of weakness. So I think he might have been deliberately trying to wind Zach up. And I was the bait. But I could you have know been... No, I've got a psycho and a lunatic. But it sounds like he came to your rescue. Well, if it wasn't for his stupid, not to mention dangerous idea, I wouldn't have needed rescuing. Sorry. <laughs> not that I ever would have dreamt it would go this far, but I should have shut him down straight away. Yeah, you should. He needs time. Mm. Except Zach might have snapped anyway. 
Billy, I was always at risk. I just didn't know it. But whatever, I'm beginning to understand what you've been going through. Well, I will deal to Josh later. I will. What with the office? No, I'll just be telling him. Okay. Hey, it might be a good idea to keep your windows and doors locked when you're alone in your apartment, yeah? Yeah. Pretty ship shape. You guys are doing a great job. I'll get you a coffee, eh? Ah, oh, Evan's going to be picking me up in a minute. Thanks. Mate, back where you belong. Just a quick check of the books. You weren't looking too happy just before. Ah, oh, it's been one of those days. Worse for some, though. For old Luke. How's Bella doing? Great. She'll get through it, I guess. Yeah. Well, if there's anything I can do. School. Yeah. Moon boot day. I can't wait to get rid of this. There is one thing you could do for me. Yeah. This staff will need a hand when the kegs arrive. Uh, sure. These will open up the back so you can load straight into the cellar. Okay. Done deal. Magic. Cheers. Oh, hey, how you doing? Too bad. Sorry, mate. I've got a date across the road. I'll catch you later. Oh, yeah. So, Sarah finally saw the real you. Now she knows what I know about you. You don't know me. True. But I uh, wonder what makes a freak like you operate. But you've lost Sarah forever. There's nothing for you here anymore. Okay. What about you? No job, a criminal conviction. Worst to come. True. Yeah. But I'll be fine, because I've got what you want, but can't have. A family, uh, Tilly, Sarah, and a woman who loves me. See, I have it all, and you have nothing. That's how it's always going to be. Notes for A. Wilson. Huh, snap. What? Oh, you've now got two A. Wilsons. OK. Thanks, Emma. Not a problem, Busser. You're welcome. My mum says that too, but who can afford quality these days? And actually, who wants something so good it's going to last for years and years? I'm doing obs on the new admission, Mrs. Wilson. Then can you give me a hand with the lift in three? Sure. told me not to be sad. <laughs> he didn't want you to forget to be happy, to move on with your life. <sighs> How can I? By appreciating what's around you like he did. Luke loved life. For all his fascination with death, he was interested in everything. Oh, <laughs> he sure was. The middle room still piled with all his books and things. <laughs> we were going to make a book line library. That sounds like a lovely idea. A place to study and read and relax. I wonder if he's at Cape Reinga yet. That's where you plan to go. He might be there by now. With all the other departing spirits. <laughs> He'll be asking them all about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> asking them about their rituals and how they died. He'll so be doing that. <laughs> So how's death going for you? <laughs> well, he used to dream about flying. He'd wake up with this big smile. I've been flying. Now he can. To the next big adventure. I'm looking for a Mrs. Wilson's notes. Vasa said you might have them. Here you go. I've just done her obs. Thanks. Good news. Hey, 
news, Mrs. Wilson. Dr. Wallace has asked me to discharge you. One second, please. Sorry, Mrs. Wilson. It seems I've been given the wrong set of notes. Kylie, a word, please. I just went to discharge a Mrs. Wilson. These are not her notes. For one, she wasn't born in 1988, and she's only been on the ward for half an hour. If I hadn't picked this up, it could have been disastrous. This is negligent nursing care, and you are for the high jump. Hey, it's me. Hi. Have you had a grovelling apology yet? No. I thought TK would have given Josh a good telling off by now, and he'd have called you. Josh is working. Well, in the meantime, you need to keep you on till he's safe, yeah? Lock all the doors and check the windows. Well, with a protection order against him, I can't see him coming back here. I keep wondering if I got it wrong. If I read him as more angry than he actually was. And did you? No. No, he was definitely going to hurt me. He's dangerous, Sarah. You need to keep you until he's safe, all right? Until the police get enough evidence on him. Well, if the is as cunning as you say, I'm not sure the police are up to it. Oh, they'll get him. He's reached a point where no one trusts him. You'll slip up. I just feel sick about supporting him over you and for being so stupid. Okay, this is not your fault, all right? You did nothing wrong. Zach lied to you? Hey, he conned all of us. How mad is he? How scared should I be? I don't know. Personality types like his, they need more and more action to get the same buzz. Mm, yeah, I believe you. But I can't imagine him hurting Tilly, at least. Probably not. But, you know, keep the doors locked and keep the police on speed dial just in case. Will do. And please don't blame yourself for anything that's happened. <laughs> I'll try. Thanks, Roy Mother. No worries. Well, you have a good evening and watch a funny movie, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll watch something of Daniel's. He likes funny trash. <laughs> good call. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>